Now, an inside look at the dramatic rescue of kidnapped California teen Hannah Anderson. You may remember when she was abducted by a family friend nearly two years ago. ABC's Pierre Thomas has an exclusive look at the FBI's video showing the dramatic moments leading up to Anderson's rescue. It was the ugliest of nightmare scenarios. A California house on fire. In the ashes, a shocking discovery. Charred remains. Christina Anderson bound and gagged. Nearby, her eight-year-old son, Ethan. They had been killed. Her daughter, 16-year-old Hannah, was missing. The prime suspect, a trusted family friend, 40-year-old James DiMaggio. I'm begging you to let my daughter go. You've taken everything else. Amber Alerts issued, a massive manhunt launched, and the FBI called in to help. There's no turning back for him. I think he thought uh, that he and Hannah would have a relationship and she would somehow fall in love with him. Six days later, nearly a thousand miles away from San Diego, horseback riders near Cascade, Idaho, report seeing two people matching DiMaggio and Hannah's description. The first positive lead we had. The FBI sent up a jet with a sophisticated long-range camera recording from thousands of feet above. You're seeing video exclusively obtained by ABC News. Look, they discover a blue tent. Then a dramatic moment. There at the lake, two people. Look again. It's Hannah and DiMaggio. DiMaggio takes off his shirt and moves toward Hannah. Later, something unexpected. Hannah suddenly starts waving. DiMaggio never notices. He's over to the right, tending the fire. But look, Hannah keeps waving. Is she signaling the aircraft? It was time for the FBI hostage rescue team to act. Assistant FBI Director Jim Yacone oversaw the rescue effort. They essentially start ascending um, the Moorhead Ridge up and around for about three miles. Stealth was the key. Stealth was the key. These photographs of the campsite seen for the first time give a hint of what the FBI believes was a dicey situation. This is DiMaggio's tent. He has a rifle, a handgun, a machete, and look right there, handcuffs. DiMaggio is moving from the campsite to go gather wood, and once he got far enough away, that's when they made their last move, their final approach. Daylight starting to fade, but the airplane's infrared camera captures everything. Hannah starts running, and you can see she's suddenly joined by at least two FBI agents who come into the picture, one of whom grabs her hand. Watch again the moment of freedom. There's that moment of silence. The next thing we hear is uh, shots fired, and we heard uh, one down hard and jackpot. When we heard jackpot, it was an indication we knew that Hannah was okay. As for DiMaggio, authorities say he fired at least one shot. The FBI returned fire, and the race against time was over. Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Washington.